Puppies on. Look, I'm not one for lopping people's heads off, but we saw Major Swift executed like it was a bloody circus act. He deserves nothing less as far as I'm concerned. But aren't we better than that? Isn't that why we fought to be here now? I've seen what Logan has done to this city. People starving to death, children forced to work, but killing him now won't solve anything. It is not my place to decide his fate, but his betrayal condemned many of my people to death. He promised us salvation and then left us to face the darkness alone. I had good reason to break that promise, and I had good reason for the crimes you claim I committed. The day I returned to Albion, I received a visit from a blind seer, Teresa, our father's guide. She showed me the future of this kingdom. The darkness in Aurora is coming here, bringing death, destruction, the end of our way of life. The sacrifices I had to make, I did them to protect Albion. If a few had to suffer, it was to build an army. If a few had to die, it was to save a country. I have spent years there are better preparing ways to do for this attack. Let me stand by your side now, and all my soldiers will be yours to command. Let us face the coming darkness, together. If this is true, if it's really coming here, we are all in grave danger. You have the power over life and death, sister. Now choose. You gave me that power before, at the start of this. I am not happy about that, but as I recall, the people I am your a verdict, whole lot better than you. Do what you feel is best for the kingdom. Unfortunately, this is not the time for revenge. We need your help, Logan. The queen has made her decision. Logan's life will be spared. I know you will never forgive me for the things I've done. You told me so once, remember? Of course I do. But what matters now is that we defend our land. The castle is yours, and so is the throne. I'm glad to be rid of them. Understandable. Crowns are quite heavy. And it's off to Teresa and I'm in the castle. You have fulfilled the first part of your destiny. You were little more than a child when you left the castle. You have become a hero, a leader, and now, finally, a monarch. But your journey is not yet done. Now you are queen, you can know the truth. Albion will soon be attacked, and the threat could not be greater. Hmm, not good. Darkness is coming to our land. It cannot be reasoned with, it cannot be halted. The ruler of Albion is all that stands between the world we inhabit and that darkness. That is why you had to take your brother's place. The course of history demands it. If you do not succeed, everything we know will come to an end. Why didn't you tell me all this at the start? It was never about Logan, was it? I told you what you needed to know, and I never spoke anything but the truth. With Logan on the throne, Albin would have been doomed. This much I know. Only with a hero wearing the crown do we stand a chance of survival. And how do I stop it? You won't. Its arrival is inevitable. One year from now, the darkness will fall upon Albion. All you can do is prepare, and hope to save as many of your people as you can. How you do so is up to you. Two paths lie ahead. You may keep the promises you have made and be known as a benevolent ruler. But understand that doing so will leave little to spend on the kingdom's protection and may lead you to disaster. It is not easy to be popular and keep the treasury full, unless you are willing to sacrifice your personal wealth. But you may also choose to break those promises. To harm your people in order to save them. You will not lack the means to build the army you need. But you will be hated. 
This path will cast you in the role of a tyrant, as it did your brother. You have one year to do what Logan could not. Be the ruler that readies Albion for the greatest threat it has ever faced. And be the hero that can stand against it. These things cost a hundred each. So, I can't exactly afford them right now. But that doesn't matter. As long as I get uh, one, most before the whole thing. And it's pretty much guaranteed because there's two treasure finding quests which will give 50 guild seals each, as well as any other little stuff you do, like tiny quest or whatnot. Killing. Your Majesty, I'm not sure so what to say after receiving more. such news. The darkness that is coming. People won't understand what it means. Nobody could, without living through it first. We need to prepare. If we can't stop the attack from happening, we have to be ready when it comes. Having Logan's troops on our side is a good start. But you will need to raise a fortune. To pay for the army we'll need, Hobson will show you the treasury. And I'm sure he can explain just how to fill it. Indeed I can. Then I will leave you to it. Ben and I will begin recruiting and training soldiers at once. If you will follow me, your majesty. Oh, how I have looked forward to this moment. That's all the treasury has. 400,000. Albion's royal treasury. The store of the kingdom's total wealth. It's pitiful. It's, well, not as um, replete as one would like, but just imagine this room shimmering with hills, valleys, and plateaus of gold. A topography of riches going all the way up to the ceiling. It will like require nothing that. less to build this army everyone is talking about. Which brings us to the second item on today's agenda, and one I'm personally very excited about. Setting the tax rate for the coming year. As you probably know, your brother was taxing the people rather heavily, and some say that this has led to poverty, starvation, and other societal ills. You have three clear choices, Your Majesty. One, lower the tax rate, which one could argue would help the poor and the hungry, but would also leave the treasury in a miserable state. Two, maintain Logan's policies. Not a popular oh, come on, move with the up. people, but moderately popular with the treasury. And three, and don't let my enthusiasm influence you in any way, raise the taxes even further. True, no. many will suffer in the short term, but we will be able to protect the kingdom and run our fingertips over vast amounts of gold <laughs> in this very room. What I'm not exactly be, sure I want you to be running majesty. my treachery. Now... The promise you made to Kaelin oh, is now on the wall with the others. I want to see if I can deposit the cash here. joy it brings me to see you crowned queen at last. I served proudly under your father when he sat on the throne, and I will continue to serve you to the best of my ability. But becoming a ruler Transfer does not to mean treasury. you cease to be a hero. That is why I shall remain in the Sanctuary. It is where I belong, after all. And with this new, terrible threat approaching, you will no doubt find the Sanctuary as valuable as your castle. Okay, you can transfer 1,000 from, your, a bit of from your personal you? cash to the Treasury. Or you could actually do it the other way, from the Treasury to yourself in increments of up to one million. Now, I kinda have to give it this initial boost just because 
you know. I'm afraid due your to property the was irreparably damaged during the battle. Yeah, my property. I mean, in other words, until that Any decision to get Bowerstone to fixed, well, <laughs> my stuff. Will I won't be gaining any rent from it. So. Alright, let's go back. Make the decision. Isn't it intoxicating? One word from you, and the lives of a whole kingdom will be changed. Unless Good thing I put that million in there. The current rate. Because lowering it will stay the same. would take the whole treasury away. Very well, Your Majesty. Well, how very noble. Yes, I suppose noble is the word. How very noble of you. The people are no doubt dancing in the streets. And we are bankrupt. You will need to be more ruthless if you wish to save the kingdom, your majesty. There are other, less salubrious means of filling the treasury, of course. You may donate your own gold, should you have enough. Though I must oh. say... Such I've charity done. is unheard of. However you decide to proceed, you should acquaint yourself with the Royal Ledger. It is a logbook that allows the reigning monarch to make deposits and withdrawals from the treasury. A most useful financial tool. But my, right look at the too. time. You really ought the one to attend to the next to item do. on today's agenda. Uh, talk with Reaver and Bowerstone. I... Reaver has a most intriguing proposal for you in Bowerstone Industrial. Now, I know you have had your differences, but it is time to put those behind you and work together. Nobody can raise money like Reaver can, I assure you. I have seen to it that your appearance among the populace is well publicized. So, expect a crowd. <sighs> a crowd. Great. can't exactly turn back now, which is why I kind of put in the cash into the treasury. Don't tempt me, Stop. I shot you once, I'll do it again. Oh, I still get tingles remembering it. But you really should consider my offer. How could you deny yourself such an impossibly delicious prospect? Hmm? The same way I deny myself all other repulsive things. Now, please, <laughs> please stop talking to me. Banter is funny. <laughs> oh, happy day! Her Majesty, the Queen of Albion, graces us with her radiant presence. I Page, knew last shoot him. time we met that you would emerge victorious from such public sibling rivalry. And now, here I am, to assist you in filling your coffers till they are fit to burst. What better way to begin your reign than by reinstating one of my most successful policies? There is no greater waste than the idleness of our city's youth, but my employment scheme Guarantees children of all ages will have something to occupy them, whilst ensuring our factories are properly manned. That's... it's just monstrous. Don't listen to him. You promised you would end child labor. Remember that promise now. And what would you have us do with the snotty little indigents? The only way Bowerstone is going to climb out of the gutter is through education. Nothing is more important to our future than that. Turn this factory into a school. Give the children of this city the chance they never had. A school? Oh, that's an original thought. Well, if you'd like to be known as a pauper monarch, then by all means, listen to her. Reva Actually, I'm quite will wealthy. abide by your decision. Yeah, I just wait like, what, 20 minutes and I got enough to cover this. Wait, no. Only five minutes. I get over 20,000. No, wait, hold on, wait. Said, so, um. Not, right now is not a good time of math. I'm you quite tired right now. The, the 
factory will become a school. Thank you. Oh, no. Colors coming we back to her really face. Start I'm less changing evil. people's lives now. This will be an Albion worth fighting for. I shall begin the necessary modifications. At I'm gonna have to kill some people. Welcome to Reaver Industries Learning Center, Bowerstone Industrial's first ever school. You can now feel secure in the knowledge that your children can become the well-educated automatons you always wanted them to be. Hmm. How did that all just those few tables, chairs, clipboard, and one teacher cost two hundred thousand? I don't even think her year's salary would cover that much. Cut her salary. <laughs> I wrote a really good poem. Okay. Yes. Saved. I really must see where my morality Welcome level is. Because my weapon has stopped glowing red. Hey, it's up. Well, I can fix that. Oh, let's. I need a repair all. It's been quite a. Ah! Quite a bit there. Alright, where do I want to start killing people? No, let's leave it to over. Ah! Driftwood. Yeah, same place as always. Right here on the bridge and see if I can't get a larger battle started. <laughs> well, I'm essentially going to believe in y'all right here. I promise I won't continue on the decision making until after Do you have I start up the next recording feet? session. We could really but, use your business. Things have been very slow know, lately. Right before. Okay. Come on, come on. Here, are you not chasing me down? No, please, please. Seriously, you're not going to try to stop me. It's good to be the queen. Oh, let's buy some carrots. I had to go through a bit be during here the just to annoy me. Thank you for your custom. Come back anytime. <laughs> okay, some Was that what I just bought? Cuz it just kind of all looked at once. Yes, run, run away from me. Oh, I am your evil run queen. Away. Seriously, they are not going to try to arrest me? This is awesome! Sorry. You struck terror in their heart. That means more gifts and bigger discounts. Someone who's afraid of you is likely to try anything in order to be spared your wrath. <laughs> Why, thank you. It's 
true. You just go the white till you nail it. Well, hello there. I could use your help, you know, cleaning up the streets. You're hey, you're alive fire. again. Not exactly leading by example. Ah, right? Got to get out of here. Please. Let me live, please. Ah. I'm begging you. Fear. Help. I am liking this. <laughs> People love me or people hate me. Wish you'd stop that. Not above the law, you know. Yes, I am. Stop. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, weapons about ready to glow again. Hey, I think I shall show you before I actually do go. Sorry. Yeah, I get carried away. <laughs> I think I shall show you the Dark Sanctum. Now I bought. Now I can fast travel to Fort Morningwood. Zombie free right now. Don't have to worry about fighting a bunch to get to where I'm going. Because apparently there's no direct route to get to the Dark Sanctum, so you have to travel a little bit. Luckily, that doesn't hurt me. Now, fun thing is, you visit here after you've made the whole barbecue operational again. It's this is like a noble's masquerade hangout place. Quite interesting. See, here they are. What foul would be murderer walks Boo! among us? Oh, this will be such fun. <laughs> you're calling me a murderer and you're hanging around here? Oh, come on. Fairly Something well, happened. Then. Holding hands is rather unseemly, but as it's you, I shall make an exception. Ah, oh, yes. Come on. Let's drop you off at the barbecue. Yeah. Stop slowing me down. Why are you slowing me down? Very good. I will go. Am I in safe hands, hero? There we go. Yes. See, they're all just hanging about. There's even a pie. Thought there was a pie. Oh, there he is, pie salesman. Very good. I will go on my way. You are a murderer and nothing more. Lead and I will follow. Oh, stop. Why is it going so slow? Fare thee well, then. If oh, your mind were out of stock on anything, fun. try again a few days later. Are we oh perchance stopping by a candelabra establishment? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Come on. Well met you. <laughs> Come on. Oh, s stop breaking away. Here, unhand me this instant. <laughs> you should know I am making careful note of your description to pass along to the guards. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, sure. Dragging people all over the place against their will really isn't done in polite society. See, watch. Up you go. <laughs> Quite fun that. Alright. Let's just take y'all down. It saves a lot of trouble. I'll just get you down myself. Hey! More people, they just pop in. There's no guards here either. <laughs> Ha 
Is that all of them? <laughs> Flied. Anyone up here? Oh, hey. Hey, so there is someone with a gun. Not for long. Hey, can I hit you? No? Okay. Cleared out this place. <laughs> Think I'm evil again. <laughs> he just walks on down. Yes, Dark Sanctum. There's a barbecue and they resist apparently when you're trying to take them there. I'm actually drops you off, drops them off once you pass over the right spot. And then you just burn them. <laughs> Anyone up else up here to shoot? Nope. Okay. Check out the morality. Ah, back where I like it. Well, well, I shall see y'all sometime later if you are actually watching. All right, and this I'll put into this current session. There's not too much left aside from days, but mm, the most I'll be doing between this and the next session will be just standing around waiting for rent to come in. <laughs>